Do I need to close this door? You good? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and close that, and then uh, should I go out there and turn that thing down out there? Oh, yeah. No, we got the uh, mics here. You sure? Black sun. Okay. Oh, yeah. In the hizzle. Oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today. Show it's not going to be in your, your program, is it? Hmm? The music's not going to be in your program. Uh, no, nah, when my show starts, uh, the door closes and it doesn't pick it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, Black Sun in the hizzle for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today. First, I want to say the views and opinions and that. Of the arena does not affect that of. Why am I giving disclaimers? As force of habit. God damn. Force of habit. Okay, okay, let's get right. to it. Nathan Dale. God dang it, that mm. man is a disgrace to the Republican Party. <laughs> God damn, by the forces of General Lee and oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Flashback. Okay. Flashback. Flashback. Okay. Right. okay. All right. So we got yeah. my man Doug here today. What's going on, Doug? What up? What up? You got Yango. No going doubt. On, it's always good to be back on the show, man. Be here with Dougie. Also, we're off in the studio, WIGO 1570 AM. Check it out um, and listen to it, especially my man Dougie's show, and check out what he's bringing to the people and how he's dropping it. Voices of Descent. Here. Voices of Descent.org. Voices of Descent.org. Right on. All right. Man, Nathan Deal. He folded. He folded. He folded. Right. He folded, he folded he like folded. a goddamn prison be ice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I call it, I call it, uh, Corporate bullying, capitalistic terrorism. Uh -oh. That's all it is. Uh -oh. That's all it is. He, yeah, 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 man. I mean, you look. You know, I'm not a Republican. Right. So right, let's right. You know, get that straight. And I think that anyone knows Yanga knows that Yanga is not a Republican. But um, we're looking at the rights of people, and I think that in this particular time, the rights of people who adhere to religions and have been built businesses that are founded off their religious beliefs are being discriminated against. I think that the discrimination, when people holler discrimination, that discrimination has been, um, they're using it and they're looking at the other side of being discriminated. But what about the people who have faiths and beliefs? What about their rights? And I feel like that those are the people being discriminated against. Wow. Yeah. You? Okay. Uh, I, I guess I could just come off the dome or I could just read a little of this. This could open it up. Mm. But... Uh, I oppose uh, HB 757, and I sent it out to all my networks and and tried to... So you're one of the people that's doing all that. Yeah, I was telling people <laughs> to go ahead and, you know, I was putting up Governor Deal's number, telling everybody to, you know, uh, go ahead and blow up the phone as oh, much as possible mm -hmm. and put the pressure on this guy because this bill, um, to me, you know, once I read some parts of the bill and and some of the things that people oppose, besides just uh, the LGBT community, um, which of course I don't believe in discrimination. And what this would have did, it would have given uh, you know churches or anyone who has a religious belief if they're in a, if they own a business that if if they see a gay person or a gay couple come in, they could refuse them service, and you know. With, uh, especially since since our ancestors and our parents, mm -hmm. you know, who fought through the civil rights movement and and uh, um, and struggled against segregation and the discrimination that it was basically it's basically a bill that revives the same discrimination that uh, that our parents and Wait, our parents, parents with Jim Crow, Dougie. Yeah, in, in in many ways, because I mean, because back then they could refuse to to rent us a hotel if right. we're going on a traveling trip. We could refuse to, you know, we had to go to the back door of a business to get food. Uh, 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 couldn't walk in the, with the Jim Crow laws. Couldn't walk in the shadow of a white man. Could you know all kind of crazies. Couldn't look at that white mm -hmm. woman. And well, the comparisons. Are, are similar. So if, if if a person had a business and they, and and they felt like you know they don't want to serve this couple because they're lesbian, then they could refuse to give them service under their religious beliefs. And I just don't think uh, that we want that type of thing in 2016. And also, besides the lesbian and gay community being affected by it, um, uh, if, if if a person is in an interracial re relationship, a person the they, they could they could refuse service mm -hmm. for for them. If um, if a, a a couple is an interfaith couple, if it was a Muslim and a Christian, or a Christian married to a Buddhist, uh, a, a Christian organization mm -hmm. could say, "Well, we're not going to work with y'all because you have a Buddhist for a husband." Or if a single mother uh, uh, has a baby out of wedlock, right? They could refuse service because you had your child out of wedlock. Or um, if you come from a uh, if, if you've ever been divorced. 
right. where your marriage didn't work, they could discriminate you for for your failed marriage, and feel that your character is flawed because or you're immoral because you had a divorce. Mm -hmm. Or if you got remarried, they could they, uh, they could choose, you let their religious beliefs deny you service. Uh, another thing, and the last thing is the uh, uh, well one one of the big things is is if you are. Uh, Unmarried, let's say if you're an unmarried couple and you break down on the highway and you need to rent a hotel, right. the hotel can say, well, are y'all married? Mm -hmm. We're not going to rent you a room unless you're married. No, Yang, what? this sounds like a theocracy. That I, I mean, a little kinda, bit. I, I yeah. think it is. I think that it's still you still depriving people the right, especially when you read the language of the bill. One of the things the bill says is... Uh, let me put it on my, I'm dating myself. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm an old man when you switch glasses. Anytime you go to switching glasses. But the language of the bill, one of the parts of the language of the bill, when it says, uh, um, let's skip down to a part where it says, uh, the official code of Georgia, knowing it related to selling other trade practices so as to change certain provisions relating to the days of rest for employees of business and industry, to protect property and owners, which are religious institutions. You know what I'm saying? So I think that if you have a religious institution and your religion states that there's certain criteria and certain stipulations of your religion, then you should have the right to enact and live that religion. And if that religion says that you don't condone certain practices or that you don't abide by certain practices, who are we to come in and say that we're going to force our way of life on you. I think that is dangerous because the same way that... But what about uh, say that we can't have to serve the darkies because the darkies are a cursed race and the Bible says they need to wipe out. If, if, okay. if that's what their religion, as ignorant as it may be, as, right, the, right. as, as whatever, but if their religion states that and it is a religious institution mm -hmm. like the, the law states, right. then I think that they have that right. One of the things about capitalist America and about capitalism is it's based on corporate competition. Right. So there's other businesses. The law isn't stating that we should reverse the Supreme Court decision that same-on-sex marriages. The law isn't stating that, like in the case of Kim Davis, who mm -hmm. refused oh, to right. uh, issue the marriage license based on her religious belief. Well, if you're working in a state facility right. or something like that, yeah, take her to jail. Do whatever, because the state has said that people have these rights. But if I, as a uh, private citizen and have a private practice... And that private practice is a religious institution based on my belief. I shouldn't be forced to service any people that makes me contradict or be a hypocrite to my belief system. And I think that that is circumventing and also jeopardizing our First Amendment rights. I think what the sad part is, what, what scared me the most was, and you know I'm not a constitutionalist, but right. I mean, you know, um, was the fact that even religious institutions even had that uh, put some type of legislation to protect their religious freedoms. Isn't this what this whole country is about? Isn't that one of the reasons that they fled from England or wherever they fled from? Right, right. We're fleeing yeah, religious persecutions. Now we're jeopardizing, now we're in threat of having that same thing happen to us now that I won't be freely, I won't be able to freely practice or proclaim my beliefs. And I think that that's dangerous. Doug, you know, he made a good point about Kim Davis. You know, she's the one that refused the marriage licenses, but she was in a state facility. What Yang is saying, and I'm, I'm kind of, I, I hear what Yang is saying, is that you, you have a private business. So if I come in your establishment and I'm not wearing a shirt, can't you refuse me service as a private owner? Um, I, I mean, I understand, you know, uh, I, you I, own I, a I'm business, just, yeah, you yeah. want to, but at the same time, you have, uh, we don't live, and this is not. This country isn't the ideal example of a of democracy. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I guess with the Constitution and all the uh, uh, different bills of rights or amendments that have been added to the Constitution, it's been, those those have been put in place to protect the rights of uh, minority groups or small. You know, that are right. that that aren't the majority of the population. White landowners. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and throughout the history. There's been amendments added to include the rights, you know what I'm saying, that brings us up to today. And uh, I just think that the, the bill was uh, taking, the, taking society backwards. Okay. Um, uh, where, you know, especially since we come from families who have already experienced right. 
this harsh discrimination. I just didn't feel, and I, I didn't want to stay in a state that would have passed a law like this. And on a personal level, I have, you know, my daughter is, is, a, a, is you know, in a relationship with a woman. She's lesbian. So I, I wouldn't feel comfortable even staying here knowing that this, this state could legally discriminate her in, in, when it comes to a job. You right know, job, if they so find right. out that she's in a relationship with a woman, they could say, no, we're not going to mm -hmm. give you a job because you're a lesbian or you're in a relationship with a woman. Or they could say, we're, uh, we're, we're not going to we're not going to rent you this apartment. We're not going to rent you this house where, you know, she wouldn't she could be discriminated, discriminated against because of her sexual orientation. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's the, I, I think, like I said, when we read the bill, I think that, you know, that's I don't think that it's. Uh, uh, represented properly. Like it says in the bill, it says faith-based institutions. Now, if you're trying to get into a house, a housing apartment or a job that is faith-based, it's Islamic, it's Christian, that's what it is. It says it's in this thing. This, why? If it's, you know, I think that when you go um, and you have an apartment and it's not faith-based, it's just an apartment and you're managing an apartment, that there's certain laws that do protect us from discrimination. But what, what's happening, what I see here happening now is an intrusion on faith-based people. I see the people who say that, hey, we believe in God to our understanding or how we believe it, and this is the religion that we hear to. I see a movement by extreme leftists, you know what I'm saying, to get rid of the Constitution and to get rid of God, you know what I'm saying, so, out, of, out of people's lives. Yeah, what I'm hearing is you're, you're distinguishing between public institutions yeah. and cultural institutions. Absolutely, absolutely. So but I, that's I, what I the bill right. distinguishes. The bill says faith-based institutions. So it be, says, that would fall under cultural institutions. Cultural institutions. Now, so if you if you had an Islamic hospital, right. you would not refuse service to, to you know, if I Islamic. probably personally wouldn't. I probably personally wouldn't. But if I had an Islamic hospital right. that only served halal, that did everything according to Islamic practices and it was an Islamic hospital, here's the sad truth and it may sound brutal. If they decided and it was sanctioned and sponsored and ran, operated and had all the license it had to be an Islamic hospital and they turned away Christians or Jews or any other people and only serve as Muslims, people may have a problem with it, but I would think that it would be within their right. It said, it, one of the main arguments they said is that the bill would violate the free speech clause of the U.S. Constitution. HB 757 would violate the free speech clause of the U.S. Constitution because it would result in both content-based and viewpoint-based discrimination so <clears throat> um, so my interpretation of that is you know basically that uh, because you have a particular viewpoint with your religion uh, um, this bill would give a person who has a particular viewpoint the legal right to discriminate if they wanted to they could deny service they could deny um, because of their own personal viewpoint. And if that viewpoint, it could, even though it could be a, a viewpoint that is seen by the majority of people, it still is violating the rights of a smaller minority or group of people. And it just it gives people the right to pick on socially, culturally, right. a particular right. group of, in, of people. And we don't live in... A theocracy, right? A right. theocracy um, allows religion, basically, and, and and religious laws to dictate everything. You know, what I'm saying the, the 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 laws or the more the morals or the mores of a mm -hmm. particular culture or group or society of people. Right. Right. And if we were to, if this bill would have passed, which it did pass, uh, the uh, similar bill did pass in North Carolina, right. yeah. and right. and Mississippi, Mississippi just right. uh, just has one. And this is all from. Um, years and years of the uh, uh, LGBT com community wanting to the, the the right to get married, yeah. and right. uh, uh, um, and people, you know, uh, with all those years of struggling so that they could have the same right to um, get married, and if 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 one person dies, uh, they, they could get, get they could get yeah they could get benefits yeah. and all those different right. things. So. Uh, I can agree. I mean, you know, and that's why I said, as far as statewide, the fact that we don't live in a theocracy means that shows me that uh, is why he didn't have to veto the bill, because we didn't live in a theocracy. The fact that, I go back again, the fact that religious people have to even propose a bill 
to ensure their religious freedoms is the name of the bill is the religious liberty bill. The mm -hmm. fact that religious people of religion have to say, hey, we need the state. When Thomas Je Jefferson is correspondent said that there should be a wall of separation between church and state. That's right. The fact that the religious community has to go to the state for their rights already shows a, a, a very bad trend or a downward spiral for religious communities all over the world. And and since we don't live in a theocracy, they had to propose this legislation. And us by us not living in a theocracy, then it was vetoed. I would understand if it, the people that um, if the people that really uh, like these big corporations were really sincere about human rights violations and discrimination, if they were sincere about that, mm -hmm. maybe I would even be a little more inclined to listen to it. But on doing my research, Apple and these other corporations do do business in five countries that homosexuals are executed. Oh, wow. You see what I'm saying? Saudi, uh, Uganda, this, and they do big business with these groups. So it's not, it is It is capitalistic terrorism, corporation, corporate, corporate bullying, and everything on the worst degree. I think that um, religious people should have a right. And like the bill says, one of the things it says is that, it goes, it says, uh, relating to marriage generally, uh, generally so as to provide that religious officials should not be required to perform marriage ceremonies and violations of their legal rights to the exercise of their religion. But what, uh, didn't didn't that part of the they already have that that particular uh, part sanctioned that right sanctioned okay. already? They, they uh, ministers don't uh, aren't, aren't forced aren't to forced, okay. to okay. Uh, to do marriages as it is. They already have the protection to like um, that's to not have to marry a gay person if they don't want. If, okay. You know, they can say. That that's against my particular religion. Okay, they, so they, don't face, they wouldn't face any lawsuits if you just say, you know, I can't marry No, you. they already have a protection okay. right now as okay. it is. Okay. So, 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 I, so it's almost like it's going beyond, you know, it's, it's going beyond what they already have given them the right to do. You know, let's say a, a gay couple comes up, they want to get married. The minister still, right now as it is, he has a right to say, yeah. I can't, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Right. So it's 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 go, it's taking it a step beyond uh, a, a, a a right that they are already protected, and, well, and it's going it's just it's, going further than necessary, you know. In my in my opinion, I just don't want to be uh, living in a society where people can use their religion as an excuse to say right. I don't want to serve you, I don't want to serve you, because that's what they they've already did. They've already had it like that. I think that they're playing, but I think that they're playing on the African here in America's sentiment and emotions to, you know, equating it to the Jim Crowism and, and segregation and things of that nature. And I really don't see it as that. I see it that is it's a right to religion. If I build a religious institution and it's there to and it's there as it stands as a monument to my faith and my commitment to God and this is what I'm gonna do and I'm doing this you know, to serve your people however I perceive or whoever I perceive your people to be, I should have a right to say that According to my religion, we don't agree with that. So if I even have an Islamic restaurant and two women or two men come in, you know, and it, it, this is not a slight against the LBGTQ community or anything like that. It's just anybody, whether they be married or whatever. If it's against their religion and this is a religious institution and they don't serve you simply, you live in what's so-called America, which is a capitalist country, which is based on corporate competition, go to another restaurant. Okay, what about this? What, what about since, you know, since... Uh you're you're Muslim. Mm -hmm. If if uh, you go down to downtown to a restaurant, you're about to go eat. You have a shirt on that says, you know, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something like yeah. that. You walk in and they say, uh, "Sorry, sir. You know, this is a Christian. Uh, uh, this is a Christian restaurant. We're really offended by your um, is Islamic stuff on your on your shirt. We appreciate you to leave." Basically, we, we don't allow terrorists. You're, you're, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. offending all my all the customers. Yeah. You're scaring my customers. Yeah. So could you please leave? I could. You know, now, what, now, would it be okay for him to I, do that? Me, me, honestly. I probably, me personally, I could probably respect that because. No, I don't believe that, Yang. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Being the freedom fighter that I, I know am, he I, is, no, I yeah, know he would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could, I could respect that. First, I wouldn't go in. You know, if I seen a big cross on his lid up, and you know, we, you know, pass over palace or whatever they call it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I probably wouldn't go in. But if I went in and sat down, and the thing that he would say would would have gotten me is. You're scaring my customers. If these people have went here, this is the last vestige of Christendom to them. This is the last place we can go and eat without seeing two men kissing each other, without seeing the brother with the big beard talking about assalamu alaikum. I feel safe. I feel comfortable here. Then I'm violating their space. So you would leave? Sanctity. So I would leave. And you wouldn't get an attorney and want to sue them? No. No, 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 no. Especially not a Christian. Oh, I, no, I probably would. No. 
I wouldn't what about you, black I would want the same freedoms. What about if they said, you know, you know it's against our religion to, when, when you come in here with those dreads, we know, it makes us think that, that you must be smoking reefer. You come in here, you're scaring. You look like I a mean, Rasta. You right, look like right, a Rasta. Right, right, right. You're scaring our country. We don't See? believe in job. We believe in Jesus, white Jesus Christ. Yeah. Please See? leave us. Okay, <laughs> and what I'm going to say, and a lot of people, especially black people, they're they going to, well, I'm going to get it. I would fight them with economics, not with emotionalism. See, the thing is, we want to, oh, we want to fall out, hold signs, and, you know what I'm saying? The LGBT hit them in the pockets. Yeah. So you would boycott? I would, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't but the reason you would want to feel like boycotting is because you, you would feel, you would yeah, feel, as if, yeah. you would feel like you got discriminated against and your mm -hmm. vice have been violated because all you were doing was just coming and have something to eat. Right. And these people said no, just because of the way you look. What about right, right. their rights? What about those people's rights? Uh, uh, oh, test. Mike check W I G O A M fifteen seventy Atlanta's Incredible Radio. How's that? All right, cool. What about the people's rights to eat in peace? What about the people's rights to be in a place that they feel is safe? You know what I'm saying? What I mean, about? I'm, I'm looking at both sides of know, arguments. Like I said, I would do like you, Yanga. I wouldn't spend my dollars there. Right. You know. Um, oh, we. Oh, they're not. They're, they're not, not staying. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would. We got five minutes. Yeah. I, I more or less would fight with my tax dollars. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I, I understand, but I do understand the people that 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 are are um, that would feel offended. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I, I look at both sides of the table, like because you asked me personally. But I think, like I said, it, it gets too close to a theocracy. Yeah, too close. It, it's too close to a theocracy, and and, and 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 that's why I would have to disagree with Yanga as far as I would agree but disagree. Like I said. When you're serving the public, you become a public institution. Mm, exactly. And then, then stop, you know what I'm saying, stop advertising as a, then, see, what, or, one thing or that if, the, yeah, yeah, Christians do, right. they always are, oh, we're inclusive to everybody, oh, come, because they want everybody's dollars. But so that comes if, with so a So if you live in a so-called democracy that goes by, uh, 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 by laws, uh, supposedly by laws instead of a theocracy, right. we're all supposed to abide by these particular rules and laws that have came throughout time, and that uh, they're supposed to protect the rights of certain groups or individuals, and then you, you're, you're participating in uh, capitalism within that democracy, mm -hmm. so, 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 so well, called, then you have to go this. by the, the laws of the land instead of your religious or the, the, theology. Right. The, the, Yanga told me about a community in Clarkston that's pretty much all Muslim. When you go in there, you see nothing now. Now, if I go in there and they're like, brother, we, we can't, I wouldn't feel offended because that. That community serves as just that community. You know what I'm saying? They're not, I guess, I mean, correct me I mean, if I'm wrong. They're, they're, it's, it's, it's like you're open by us not living. The fact that we don't live in a democracy shows, I mean, a, a theocracy, well, not really a real democracy, but a, a, a theocracy is the reason that legislation like this has to be passed because we're living in a thing where now even people with who believe in uh, God or a certain religion don't have the rights to practice that religion nor to build up their religious community. We're saying that, see, it would be different if the only places to eat were religious institutions. But you got many other places to go. You have right. a lot of alternatives. But brother, that's, we want your halal point. meats. You see what I'm saying? Right. But then if you, if you have your business and you are benefiting from the tax dollars that come from the community, uh, whether it be a city or a county mm. or uh, a state, you share the highways... Uh, that with that tax dollars right. that contribute to your you, you share uh, your, your your tax dollars contribute to the fire department coming and saving your business. Yeah, he the, makes a good point because good point, I wouldn't go he, to is I wouldn't go to Saudi Arabia and exactly. Set up a but at the same time, are these right? people being ta are they? If I have a business, not the churches, but these businesses are paying taxes, so it's not so much sharing; they're getting what they pay for. So it wasn't. So if it wasn't for the infrastructure or the streets that led to your business or if it wasn't for the that schools. That they pay for also. Yeah, you know, it wasn't yeah. for the schools or it wasn't for the hospitals. That All these other par uh, mm -hmm. parts that contribute to the community, uh, uh, you wouldn't have that business if you didn't have the road that drove to it or the free freeway that and, went to it. You know what I'm saying? So, and they pay a business tax. Right. They pay, they pay their taxes as well. So they should have the right the same way that the LGBTQ 
by them paying taxes and being uh, citizens of the United States of America have the right to reap the benefits of their, you know, mates and, and spouses and the health benefits because they are taxpaying people. And the same rights that religious institutes, by them paying their taxes at these businesses, have the rights to say, this is our lifestyle. We're well, simply saying, this is our lifestyle. I'm just saying that just because, because they have to share in the the resources that they also there's a there's a little give and take you know what i'm saying because your business wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the general public and just the right. infrastructure that leads to your business but so you have to give and take a little bit they, and say given. the business exists for those infrastructures but also the people in those community in that community that decide to do like son said that decide you can that same road that goes by that that goes to that business also rides by that business and there's people in that community that say hey we like this business this is why that business is in that community. There's a whole base. Because now we're friends on their rights. They run to this place to get away. They run to this place because this is Christian base. It's Islamic base. I can come here. I can get good food. I can get some, some prayer stuff on radio. Because the next thing that happens, they come in, and then they tell you, uh, excuse me, sir, we don't want to hear those Bible verses over there in the gun. Can you turn that down? Or excuse me, sir, that picture of Jesus is offensive. Can you take that down? It doesn't stop. You know what I'm saying? They constantly get offended. You live in a society, in so-called America, that people have the First Amendment right. They have the right to practice their religion. They have the right not to have a religion. As long as it's not in the public institutions, it's not in government-sponsored institutions, if someone has a private facility, next you'll be coming in my home. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that a private Sir, business is just that. Sir, Batman outfit off? Right. <laughs> Well, it's almost like the guy, you know, the people who say, you know, I did this business, I did it, it's all me, you know. Mm -hmm. But the, right. but then they don't take into account all the t people's tax dollars, the infrastructure that mm -hmm. led to people, mm -hmm. you know, the communications, the mm -hmm. advertising, I mean, different things that contributed to the, development the people, the development of the business, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So none of us have completely done everything all on Absolutely. our own, you know what I'm saying? It, it takes the community to for to a business that, to be successful. I say, Dougie, those same ways, like you said, that those people who do contribute to the taxes for the infrastructure, they're amongst those people that are paying taxes are people that agree with his business practices or he wouldn't have a business. What I'm saying is that we, now the religious community is becoming the minority. And you can see it because they have to even pass the First Amendment right guaranteed that it shouldn't be legislation like this. But fear right. of reprisal, fear of litigation because I'm simply saying I'm a religious person and you may not like my religion, you may not like what it says or what it states or who we don't accept, but I have that right. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm not going out, I'm not lynching, I'm not killing, I'm not proselytizing, I'm not uh, forcefully converting you to my religion. I'm saying I got a little business for people who believe as I believe and we can eat like that. Now that's in danger of being encroached and infringed upon because you feel discriminated against. And religious people, if they took God out of school, prayer out of school, they took Commandments out of the courthouse. Yeah, I'm at the gavel. You there? <laughs> First of all, bring you I'm on like gavel, me, bro. Gavel. But those are public institutions. Exactly. So that right. rightly so. Do that rightly so. so. Now we're going into private. Inst the danger of big government. The danger of extreme leftism and and government. You know, I'm a leftist to a degree because I'm a socialist. But the danger of uh, big government control. And I don't have a problem with government control if it's the right government. I, my mm -hmm. fear you of sound this like is now righteous my, dictatorship. Right, the righteous because <laughs> Jesus was rocking us through it. But it, it's it's the fear of this government having so much control now that they can infringe on religious people and even come into private institutions and tell you what you can and can't do in your private institutions. This, That's dangerous. This is another uh, a, a cookie cutter bill from the American Legislative Exchange Council. You know, what I'm saying they cut out these bills, and uh, especially in southern states. Where where they have uh, that's right. control, you know, control of the legislatures, the Republicans. So, uh, and that's another reason I'm against it because anything <laughs> anything that Alec, the American Legislation Legislative Exchange Council, is about, uh -huh. um, it, is divisive, and uh, uh, leans towards the profit of multinational oh, corporations. Yeah. They they did the stand your ground law. They did the immig immigration bills to be able to racially profile the immigrant community and lock them up in prisons. Yeah, right. yeah. They, 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 they were the original ones who did three strikes, three strikes yeah, yeah. you're out, mandatory minimums. Um, these people have done everything in their way to, to set us back, to set us back hundreds right. and you're hundreds right. of years. Right. And this bill came from those people from the, you know, that, that's why they're able to push them through and state mm -hmm. like, you know, it's not by coincidence that these states mm -hmm. You know, South Carolina, North Carolina, Mississippi, Mississippi, yeah. all this, yeah. that, that, that they're, yeah. they're, they pass them back to back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's just a relentless wave of them. Mm -hmm. 
And um, that's one of the main reasons that I don't like it. anything Alec does. I'm against. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. um, and it's well, we gotta we gotta wrap things up. So let's okay. uh, let's, okay. let's sign off. Let's like like uh, let's say by wrap up the you want to okay. parting yeah. words. Oh, Part I mean, up. yeah, I mean, you first. Uh, really, no, no parting words, man. It's sad. It's like what Dougie said with some interesting points. It's hard because the people this bill comes from is a trip. It's like taking food from the devil. Right. You know what I'm saying? But what unfortunately what is happening in this particular case with me. The devil has has presented a truth, you know what I'm saying, and so it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying. I have to I have to side with the devil in this one, and and I think that our religious freedoms are in jeopardy, and um, you know, and it's infringing on private, you know, in 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 us having being able to practice self determination right. and infringing on the private businesses and private property and everything like that. And it's for those constitutionalists out there and people that believe in the Constitution, That's right. damn it, boy, they're they're usurping your First Amendment right. That's right. All right, we're going to have a part two on this. No doubt. Black Sun, we signing out. Yanga, Dougie, we out. Peace. 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 All right, y'all.